Welcome back everybody to House and Garden Flipper. This is episode 379 and we're going to head straight back over to Moonrise Bay and get back into Jessica's fabulous mansion. This is Luxury Flipper, the DLC. I think this is, yeah, Jessica's fabulous mansion. We're halfway through it. Let's resume the job. Mind you, when I say halfway through it, we've got it clean, but we haven't started putting everything in. So... Alrighty, 33% progress left to complete the job. Actually, there's a little bit more than that, but it's there's 33% progress left before we are allowed to. Can we mow Jessica's lawn here? No, we're, we're just confined to the job. So I'm thinking when you start the game, if you've got all of the DLCs, you're going to be able to flip back and forward between the um, the Luxury Flipper and the HGT LTV. You won't need to have unlocked everything. Uh, and you won't need to have your garden DLC to finish your job either, which is kind of good. It means you're not locked out of one DLC because you don't own another. So when we were here yesterday, we were we finished all the cleaning and now we're just into doing things. So we need to sell the a uh, few things. Let's just sell that. And we're selling the sconces. All right, now I need to have some lights. Um, we need to lay the Imperador Marble Grey for the floor. I'm not going to change the stairs until I see what the rest of the room is going to be like. Alrighty, let's get into it. I know, I'm half tempted to run through the house and just put down all the floors today. Let's actually do that. We'll get all the flooring down if it's easy to do. Alright, I know it says it's done, but this would be untidy just to leave this this um these other tiles in under the doors so let's just get the doorways fixed i know that looks a little scary doesn't it my fireplace is out of control Alrighty. actually yeah i'm gonna just run around and put all the floors in all right we need a loamy panels in this one i know it's just really quick makes me feel better gives me a better feel for the house i'm still getting to know the house so all right, that one's done. Into here. I know, we're also gonna sell everything that we need to. What, what didn't I sell in here? Look at this, the floor change is just huge. All right, we're selling that. Right, everything's sold in here. I know, I think yesterday I just didn't sell the lights. Not that. She wants to keep that one in here. Where's our... Alrighty. And yeah, we'll just run through and lay the floors. So more Imperador Grey. Nice. Alright, into here. Black and white, alrighty. Do, 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 do. Okay, ceramics black and white again. And probably the same again for in here. No, a loamy panels in here. All right. All right, and that's it. That's this part done. Let's head into here. Wait, we haven't cleaned all the dirt. Oh wait, I see it. Fix that. Man, what was what was wrong? And I had walls to destroy. I know, this is just some days I just I just like to just bulk things out. Oh, 
try not to take out a wall. I don't need to. Oops. I did. Alright, so that wall I've damaged. Yeah, let's just get rid of that. And we'll just pop that one back in while I remember. That was my bad. There we go. Remove the truck. Oh, I missed I missed a whole section. Right. Okay, so that's all done. All right, we need to imperator grey marble this floor here. Just go to the corner so I don't go into the next room with it. Ooh. And then we'll run right to the end up here. I like it, it's such a cool, it just changes everything. Right, that's all done. So that looks like the ground floor. No, I take it back. End here. Sell the sconce royale. And its friend. And lay the floor tiles. Real quick. She's got this thing for clean greys. All right. Ground floor. That's all the flooring done. We won't go upstairs and do that yet. Okay, Rosea coffee table, light coloured sofa, armchair. Okay, let's get the light sources in first. So we want the Celestis chandelier and the Celestis sconces. Let's get those. I think um, we might go with the white just to match the grey on the floor. Alrighty. Uh, and then the sconces. Alright, so I think this the placement of the sconces is going to depend on uh, where I put everything else. I think I'll probably put them up near the stairwell here. But we'll uh, we'll just see what we've got. So let's get our light coloured sofa in. Alright. Uh, coffee table, two light coloured sofas and a light coloured armchair. Alrighty, let's have a look and see how these look. So I'm thinking the coffee table is going to be right in the middle. Somewhere. We may actually actually have like move it out a little bit we'll just see but let's go with our light colored sofas we have two of them you know i don't think i want to change oh we could do that Ooh, we could do that and then we could go with that there we go and we might just put, maybe put this along here. I know, I'm stuck on the coffee table. I may move that yet because I, we might end up having, um, let's put that a little bit closer. I mean, this looks like a perfect spot. Let's just put that down. Okay, now we've got a little gap there. And then what we need is we'll need another sofa. We'll get exactly the same type as we did before. And I might just pivot it. I don't like the way it's obstructing the door is my thing. I like to have a clear line of... But then it obstructs the other couch. I wonder if... If she'd let me move the door over. Alright, let's not do that. I mean, we can still walk past it, so... And there's a big doorway here that's in the way. Alrighty, light coloured armchairs by two. Actually, you know what? Let's have a look. Alright, we're going to just do the same thing we did. I might just put them here for the minute. I'm not liking where they are, but that's okay. Actually, I really don't like where they are. It all depends on what else we've got. Um, let's just pop them over here just for the minute and we'll rearrange the furniture when I've got a better idea of what she's messing with. I mean, we could put 
have a couple of different talking areas here and actually just grab this one. I know, the naughty corner. <laughs> that over there. Uh, which means I do want to move this. So that it's... And then I want to put this. Having said that, we could just put this here. And then we want to grab this. Because I, I don't like it obstructing the doorway is my thing. This really doesn't like to go there, does it? It's like a little chat area. And then what I might do is we might just move that couch over just a tad. And we'll see how much space the end table is going to take. So we drop that in. Okay. Actually, I think we may... I know, we might just do it this way. Passe, passe, passe. Alrighty. Celesti sconce. Oh, right, I haven't done that yet. Of course I haven't. Right. Uh, Light-coloured double sliding doors with door frame. How many did you want? One. We're going to put this in from the outside. Hmm, there we go. No, I definitely don't like it there. Alrighty. Painting on the wings of lights. Yeah, there is only one wall to really put that on, isn't there? Okay, you know, that would look really nice with another coffee table and a rug down there, right? I know, we'll, we'll see what the budget does. Celeste sconce. Now... That, this area is relatively well lit, but this area... That'll do. Right, this room is done. Let's just do this room because it's kind of here. What do you mean this room is done? Seriously, except for the stairs. All right, let's do the stairs. Change. I'm going to go with the grey wood. I might keep that. Let me just have a look at the carpet. 
yeah, white and the metal. No. Ooh. No, I think we were better off oops, with the white. All right. All right, that'll do. I know, I wished. Maybe I should have changed the balustrade to black. Because the, the brown really looks out of place. Okay, now the one thing I do want to fix is I want to fix this area around the door just to make it look finished. So we're going to grab, um, I think it comes under walls and panels. Okay, EOS dark panels is what I think we've got here. So we just grab this. I know, I, it, look, it's an extra expense, but okay, it's not that one. Oops. It's the, it's the brown. Yeah, that'll do. It really looks unfinished. And now it looks slightly out of place, but it doesn't look as bad as the bare concrete, so we'll leave it at that. Okay. This room is now officially done. Let's zippity doo dar into here. Paint with the colors white and pale pink. Alrighty, let's go. What's it going to be an exercise point? I don't want to do candy stripes. That'll just make me ill. Um, so I'm thinking we might do the majority of the room in pale pink and then have white around the, the window trim. She seems to be kind of like a pink girl. So this is her pink exercise room. But rather than have that bare concrete around the windows, we'll use the white as a highlight. And we'll see if their game will recognize that I've used both colors. It usually it doesn't count these inside window areas anymore. It used to. It used to be one of the challenges was to make sure you'd actually gotten all of that done and finished up properly. It was very good training for some, some clients. I'm trying to imagine what we would use this room for in, um, you know, when we do our own renovations. And I'm thinking this might be a nice, like, breakfast room. All right. I know it's easy to miss under the windows so that looks it looks like it's it'll count it if you just paint it one color but what I'm thinking is will actually the outside of the house is pink I 
There we go. So I could just do this window area like this. What we'll do is we'll do one this way. And then we'll do one this way and we'll just see if it looks any better. Because the windows themselves are white, so it shouldn't look too bad. Yeah, I actually prefer that. I know, I came in biased, but my bias seems to be correct. So what we're doing is just extending the illusion of the window in here. And in the end, it doesn't matter what we do. It's going to look a lot nicer than that pale concrete. And she would notice. And now I'm not going to sell these paint cans yet. Because I don't know where else they're needed. So we're going to do a quick run through the rooms and see if there's any more rooms requiring white and pale pink paint. Okay, we need white in here. Let's go grab our paint cans. All right, so that's where our white is. Do we have any more pale pink? Fresh morning. Tiles. And a fresh morning, okay. This is white, Beowulf's white panels, and that's not pink. Okay, so it looks like we can probably, all right, let's go upstairs. I have a feeling. Man, I like these stairs now. Do, do, do. Beowulf's light brown. Turquoise. You know, we could just light, the, light do the floor, the floor down here. All right, so while we're up here, I know you knew I would do this. Uh, Looks like the floor in here is fine. Yeah. In here. Diamond tiles. She's got a thing for these, isn't she? She likes the black and white. All right, in here, in here we're selling these. All right. And installing Hudson dark brown panels. I know it's getting dark so technically I could finish finish it here but we're not going to okay into here so she wants another room in here so let's um Oblige her. She wants a door at this end. Hey. I know, I'm wondering if I've, if I've, no, I can get it in. Very good. So it's just like last episode where we did all the cleaning it looks like this episode we're gonna at least get all the floors in we've got one room down we might get a second room done maybe a third yeah maybe a third or a fourth Alrighty. uh it wants me to choose floors inspirations 
I want to feel like a princess waking up here, so a four-post bed is a must. Keep it mostly in white and pink color palette with some extra sparkle. Don't forget the mirrors. Alrighty, so she likes pink and gray. So she's definitely liking those pink walls. Yeah, I'm suspecting gray floors or tones of pink and gray. Alrighty. But she does like the Imperador. Actually, you know what? We're going to give her... <laughs> okay. I think we've got a lot of Imperador downstairs. I want to do the terracotta tiles. Okay, I'll get there eventually. I don't know how she expects to fit a double bed in here, mind you. I think this might be just her dressing room. Yeah. Alrighty, um, into here so we don't forget it. Sell all of these. I know, I need it though, but anyway. Oh, oh wait, we can sell that? Yes, we definitely want to sell that. Okay. Floors again. So she's going to go again with that pink kind of thing. I'm thinking um, maybe just change it up a little bit for the bathroom. Give her the red terracotta marble. I don't know if I like it. I'm actually may I may go back to the the pink thing. I mean, what's it tiles? I know, and I'm forgetting my budget completely. So, um, right there we go. We're gonna keep the pink tiles in here as well. Okay, into here. Sell that one. And that one. And choose a floor finish. You know what? She can she can have pink. All the pink. Every single spot of pink. There we go. Alright, that's the floor in here done. The floor in here done. And the floor in here. Ooh, I missed a bit. I know, how could I miss a bit? Right, now we're done. Alright, but what I didn't pay attention to was whether or not I needed pink paint. So those are pa panels. Those are panels. Choose a wall finish. Alright, definitely not in here. I can use pale pink, but not the one I'm using downstairs. And the wall finish. Okay, so the answer to do I need the pink paint? I know I took the long way around to answer that one, didn't I? Is no. No, I do not. We'll go and sell those now. And then I guess we'll finish off this room here. Might put a door on. So let's go. That's all done. We've sold all the objects. Internal door and a mirror module. Okay, so we want two of these and she wants black. Of course she does because that goes so freaking well with anything else. Uh, we'll install that from the outside. And we'll have it so it opens onto the um, onto the walls. Alrighty. So we would need an, another internal door. We'll put that over here. And again, we'll have it so it opens onto the walls. Right, that's done. We need some lights. We might put those in next because we're running low on light. So I have a halogen lamp by six. Is that it? Oh, man. Fine. Let's run backwards. I need about the halfway point in the room. So about here, which means we'll, we'll see how close we got in a minute. That looks pretty close. And then we want to put the third. Oh, 
I know, we'll, we'll straighten them up in a minute. All right. Oh, I am at the back, okay. All right, we're just gonna make sure this one lines up with this one. Yep. And then we're gonna make sure Just gonna have to move that one over a little bit. Which means we need to move that one about there. Okay, let's head over here and we'll do the same for these ones. Alright, these two seem to be in line and this one's not. Right, and now what we need to do is we need to make sure it's in line with this one here. Okay, it's done. Now, I know, what are we up to? The lights are in. Let's find a switch. All right, we have a switch. All right, that looks relatively even. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get our, okay, a oblique, oblique bench exercise bike elliptical trainer okay so when you're exercising on the exercise bike it's always fun to watch the neighbors go by i guess so we will go with the pink and the pink so she can watch them go by here and then i guess What's the view like out the back? You know, that's a pretty good view. We might put we might put the elliptical trainer in here. Again with the same colour scheme. Alright, and we need an obliques bench. I think I think actually. I know what she's looking at if she does this. Yeah, a wall. I don't think she'll like that. We're going to put the obliques bench right in the middle of these two. Uh, I'll just see if it gives her enough arm space, though. Yeah, no. I'm just trying to find a space that's outside the, um, the walk path. I'm not seeing one. So I'm thinking the walk path, people are just going to have to go around her. Uh, radio. Although we could put... We might put that there. And then we'll get the fit-in dumbbell by two. And again, of course, we're doing pink. Might just pop these over here in the corner. The men oh actually, you know what? We're gonna put these over here because who doesn't want to work out with their dumbbells in front of a mirror? Okay, a Manemo pastel hanging shelf. I'm not sure what we want that for. Let's put in the um the gym ball. Probably for your Pilates. Okay, and we'll just move those over a little bit. Alrighty, and then we're going to grab our mirror module. Two. Three. I know, trust these to be a menace. Uh, 
Okay. Now we'll just pop these back where they belong. There we go. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe she might want a mirror in front of her bench there. What do you think? I think so. We'll we'll do that. Do do. Okay, so there she's got her mirrors. Now she needs a Manemo pastel hanging shelf. Uh, I'm going to assume she needs that to put... Okay, I know I said I was about to say put stuff on. So I think I'm going to put it right there. So that way it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. Actually, we might put it over here. It's right inside the doorway and she can just kind of throw things on it. All right, this room is done. She's got her own home gym, she's got her living room, and we have time to do another room down here. I know, there's a couple. Uh, let's do this one. Oh, whoa, what's this one going to be? Standing set. Okay, okay, this is the kitchen. Not a surprise. Inside corner cabinet is probably going to go there. All right, let's get the interior doors out of the way. We have two of them. It's gray. We could just go with the gray wood. Leave the primary color as glass. Make the handles dark. No, light is good. We'll leave them as light. I actually like the dark outline. We might leave that like that. That looks silly because everything else is brown so we don't want gray wood in here we're not matching the floor we're matching the um thing so let's have a look at burned beach that's that should suit it better yeah there we go i know I didn't fit it right is, is my problem, if you're wondering. That's better. All right, and did we need a, um, like a double door of any kind? No. So I'm thinking we're going to need this corner cabinet. Uh, maybe um, she likes pink a lot. There's brown, it won't match the floor. That'll contrast with the floor. It'll match better with the walls, is my thought. No, let's do that. Okay, let's try this. We're going to stick with cream. Everything else looks... Okay, we're going to do this. All right, everything is pastel rose and the brown, which has a pinkish tinge to it and goes with the wall. We put that over there in the corner. Uh, let's have a look at the light colored standing set. And hopefully it has everything that we just put in. Yep. I know it wouldn't fit there anyway. So we're gonna just flip it and we're gonna put it here. Personally, I don't know why you would. I don't like the layout. Let's let's just grab the other standing set and maybe I'll have a better idea of what I want to do in a minute. All right, we're going to do that. So what I'm thinking is maybe...
Is that that'll bring it across the door, won't it? Yeah. There's no real, real way to redeem this space layout. It is sucky as. Unless, let's just grab this paint can. Right, how much space do these do these things take up? And then Yeah, but see if you do that it doesn't work either. Alright. So there's there's no real way to redeem the kitchen layout. It's just gonna suck. I mean, we could, I suppose. Yeah, no, we can't even put the kitchen, corner kitchen thing in here. Okay, so that's going to have to sit flush up here. Flush to the wall. And then I guess we're going to grab this one and we're going to pivot it. And we're going to put it flush against this wall. Oh, really? Painful is what it is. Why don't I do this? Actually, hang on a minute. I know this is why these things take so long for me. I'm just. Just pop you over there. We're going to block the entire access to the back from here. No, we're not. We've got a tiny little gap we can walk through. And then we can kind of... So this would kind of more become like a serving spot. You wouldn't bustle through here. You would just um, get your food from the counter, I guess. And then you have this blank space here. Yeah, no, you've got a light-coloured kitchen island. Okay, fine, 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 I give up. Okay. I know, just, just do the thing, girl. What are you trying to be? I really don't like it. But anyway, I don't have to like it. This is Jessica's mansion, not my mansion. There is a kitchen island in here. Let's grab the, the Clava light coloured kitchen island. I oh, know I'm having conniptions over the um just the layout, I think, in general. And then you'd probably put this somewhere in the middle. Okay, hey, in the middle, not in the way. Sort of like that, then it's kind of shared by both, I guess. But you've got bar chairs. So, I mean, you could just zip that this way, smirk it onto the end here. Have your bar chairs. Oh, yeah, hang on. I'm in the wrong room. That's with the computer's light. What are you doing? Alrighty, grab our bar chairs. Of course they're pink with pastel rose. No, pink legs. Alrighty. And then, of course, somewhere in here we have to fit a refrigerator. 
a wide refrigerator. Which, I mean, knowing this girl is probably going to be pink. Which, that would almost make sense. There we go. But it does mean I can't put that there. I know, how do I make this kitchen look good, man? Not like that. You know what, we're just going to put it right in the middle. Maybe she does her own cooking. Maybe. Alright, so now she's got a little bit of space to um, to do stuff. Uh, light cabinet with drawers, 80 centimetres. I know I'm... I've missed a drawer. There we go. We could just put this over here, where we are. Okay. Uh, light colored hanging set. All right. Oh, that looks like it goes over the stove. So at least I know where that goes. There we go. Okay, um, and then I guess the other hanging set will go over here. Let's just check that. Yep, so it doesn't have like the hood with it. There you go. Okay, so that, that kind of fits. I know, I, I'm not fond of it. And then we're just going to paint it with white. So just wander all the way through. Now technically we don't have to paint inside the windows. And if you'll notice, painting in here does absolutely nothing. It used to be in the earlier game that if you didn't paint in there, you'd, you'd miss a percent or three. And actually I really miss that mechanic because it made you finish the room properly. Um, instead of just leaving bare patches. I know, when I was a girl. <laughs> there you go. Oh dear, no one needs me doing that. There we are. Let's just wander this way. I do love this game though. You just get there and it's the transformation between grungy bits and... You know how it looks even even if you don't agree with how the, the design layout is um yeah it's pretty like i said my number one go-to game for relaxation was this and it really when i was heading through a really rough 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 workplace um this game kept me semi-sane at least. And mostly because I could take something that looked really trashy and turn it into something that looked a lot less trashy. It's amazing just what a, like a different bit of paint will do. We, um, we recently bought a house and, and moved in to this new house and it's like I can look around I can go wow you know I can almost imagine what that wall would be like if I did this. Pretty sure I can't approach it though the same way I approach House Flipper with no you know what we're going to try 20 different colours of paint on the wall. I don't think I'm that rich. Unlike my builder. There we go. This this one is done and I didn't remember seeing white paint anywhere. It's so there we are. Alrighty. Do we have time? Yeah, maybe. We'll do one more room. So I think next episode we're gonna finish the downstairs and we might get to start on the top. We might. 
Let's see what a fresh morning looks like. Because I don't think I've played with this with this paint colour yet either. And there's two rooms that need it too. So we'll grab this and we'll just zip our way through here. There's a Christmas door going in here. Nice. All right, because it's going to be different to the outside, we're going to have to make sure we sit that door flush to the um, to the wall. There we go. I know, I love it. This is the um, one of the missions in the luxury DLC flipper. Luxury Flipper DLC. Man, I'm dyslexic today for some reason. I think I'm going to need another, well actually I've got another room to do as well, so uh, we're not going to get it all out of one paint can, let's just make this, finish this off and make it look pretty, there we go, back it up, make sure we've done under the windows, yep, door frames are done, yep, check, check, and check, uh, we'll see how far through this room we can get, but I think I'm going to need another paint can, look at how thin that roller is getting, yeah, Let's grab this one. So yeah, so this is paint paint with the colours of Fresh Morning as well. So I figured while I was painting with this colour, I might as well get this room done. I know, the job says like 54%. It's like, not really. Some tasks are bigger than they look. There we go. All right. Nice. So that's that section done. So we want a rotation ceiling lamp. Let's get that. Oh, one of my favorite lamps. And the reason it's one of my favorite lamps is because, although pink is out of place in here, let's just do plain old silver. And white. Is because it gives so much light, like it's a really bright giver of light. We might as well do another lamp in here as well, I guess. Um, and again, we'll, we'll use silver because pink is just not this room. There we go. Christmas door. Christmas door, huh? All right, not much change we can do with that one. Let's just pivot it. Yeah, bring it. Okay, we're going to put it in from the outside just to make sure that none of that blue shows. Hopefully. Oh. I know this is how you blow your budget, being a perfectionist about the door. There we go. All right, that's done. A Maven wide pantry shelf by two and a Maven narrow pantry shelf by two. Okay. I'm going to give it some nice white wood, make it look clean. Uh, we want two of them. So I guess 
and pop them here and we want two narrows just to make sure it's all good actually we could just pop those one and two all right Papulous interior door Alrighty, Capulus interior door. Now, the Christmas door is white. So what we're going to do is we're actually just going to go white on this door as well, just to match the Capulus, uh, the Christmas door. Though having said that, uh, I don't think it matches this door. Yeah, I probably should have used the other Capulus interior door. What's my budget like? Do do do. I know I've been finishing in way over budget for a lot of the others. Oh, yeah, I get it. Right, let's try that trick again. I know if you're in the room, in the wrong room when you go for it now. All right, I can just see the other door over there. So we're going to try and match up with that. So I think, was it Burn Beach? and frame of burned beach yeah that looks about right all right okay now we need a grill a bed a bed grill oh we're gonna try and give them a pretty bed if we can there's plain white diamond crosses lily navy i like that let's do that the pillow can stay blue yeah yeah no no That'll do. Oh, I and mean, we could go with pink. And it just all depends on whether it's a boy or a girl chef. Let's assume girl chef. Do pink pillows. No, no, pink pillows. There we go. Maybe make the bed. This looks so grubby if you do it this way. American Elm. We could go American Elm. Burnt Beach. White. All right, cedar wins. Cedar is nice. Let's do cedar. Um, and we're going to put it over here. Yeah, we'll put it over. Because I don't think it fits. Yeah, no. All right, it's going to fit nicely just over here. Maybe, maybe give them space on the other side. And then we're going to give them a bedside table. Now, actually, the Hermes is a pretty narrow bedside table. It might actually fit in that space. Would we use American Elm or Cedar? I don't think we've got a choice of... Oh, no, there we are, Cedar. Yeah. Because it'll fit in the most impossibly narrow spaces, but that just means her private stuff is on the other side of the bed and not close to the door. Alrighty, and then we want a Hermes wardrobe, which actually is a nice practical wardrobe for in here. In the cedar, please, with pastel rose. There you go. And we'll just pop that. I'm going to just center it. I know. There we go. That's this room done. Alrighty. Let's see if we can get this room done. I think we'll leave the big downstairs job with the with the refurbishing. Actually, I think this has refurbishing too, doesn't it? Maybe. I don't know. All right. We have, we need to lay the wall, wall tiles, mosaic, white, and albatagulous small horizontals. We're going to have a shower plumbing system in here as well as a toilet. The only real space for the shower is over here. So uh, fingers crossed that I get the right corner of the shower so we we'll just dump that all right we might just in case it's a cheap shower we'll put, put it on this wall and we'll unscrew that and then we'll grab the cores okay it is a cheap shower and we did guess right with the wall All right, technically it will probably have worked just as well on the other wall. I should probably have put the tiles in before I did that. All right, so now we know where we're going to put the, um, let's have a look at these tiles. 
So Mosaic and the Albertangulus. What sort of floor have we got? Huh. All right, a toilet plumbing system. Okay, light colored Roman blinds. Let's let's actually just get the. Let's have a look at the um, the mosaic white to start with. I don't know why you'd put these in here. All right. Well, maybe maybe you would put them. around here I should have kept the white paint and we'll just keep them down to here down to the corner Make sure we do up into the window or it'll look a little odd because you'll have a strip of not tiled bits. I've got four in hand and a stack. You know what? I can just afford to waste this section here. So I'm thinking, thinking we're going to do the albertagula small horizontal tiles in behind the shower and we're going to make them full length because this pattern would be really overbearing um, full length. Okay. I know it's um makes me feel better just to have everything done actually I don't think I needed to I think I'd already done that hadn't I never mind pop that up there beautiful so now we're going to grab our, uh, our other ones our albertagulus pop them here I don't think I need more than one pack I guess I'll find out the hard way With this shower, you tend to need to um, tile first. I mean, technically, you should tile first anyway, but uh, oops. And then I think, just drop that down there, grab this. There's five tiles one, two, three, four, yeah. So we'll get all of this done. Boom. There you go. So you've got this quite colourful pattern and then you've got this very quiet stark white section. I don't know why they want to do it that way, but okay, maybe it's cheaper. Um, I guess that means the toilet is definitely going to have to go over in this corner. Uh, but we are getting blind, so that's not a bad thing. So let's grab our toilet plumbing system. And we'll stick that down here, a little bit of leg room. There we go. And grab ourselves a compact. We won't give it a marble finish. We'll just assemble it very quickly. There we go. One rotation ceiling lamp. Let's grab that thing, make it white, put it in the middle of the room. Boom, turn the light on. There we go. Uh, then we're going to want a mirror Madarians. Uh, yeah. Are we going to keep this? Oh, you cheapskate. I know, right? <laughs> we're going to go with, um, you know what? You might actually go with the cedar if it's here. American elm. There we go. Because it, it, I think it'll match 
Okay, I was hoping it would match. Maybe we need a darker frame to match the um the tiles. That might work. Yeah, no, no. I think that's probably my best bet then. No. Um, I'm just trying to get it to not clash with the tiles. I don't think I've got a hope in Hades, to be honest. Maybe. So the brown tiles don't go well with anything, do they? We might just stick it with white then. There we go. A capulous bathroom door and light coloured Roman blinds. Let's have a look at our blinds first. I'm actually going to chicken out and go with white on this one. Now we've got some privacy in this room. There we go. Well, it's functional. I know, someone didn't care about matching colours. Um, Capulus, let's go. Now, I think we're just going to make, yeah, this match our burned beach door over there. So let's grab this. Looks like I used burned beach and more burned beach. And the handle, maybe it was light. The frame, I thought I, it looks like I did something dark around the frame. All right, well, we're just going to stick it with this. Actually, it almost looks like I did black wood. I did. All right. So you've got like servants quarters here. I don't think I got that door on right. It'll do. So there we go. This is this end of the house here, the servant in here, you can slum it in the kitchen for breakfast. Um, I was going to have that kind of here, like a barricade, but I think I might just leave it. I might leave it there. Maybe. I don't know. Let's take a look. So you could kind of put your breakfast bar here. And then we just that there. I like being able to put it underneath without actually going around to the other side. So there what, what you can do now is the only problem is of course is that you can't is you no longer have access to that area and I don't really like that idea so we could just bring that in. I had it here and didn't like it. Yeah, there's a narrow little space here you could now go through. Just pop those underneath. Radio. So there we go. This is there's no there's no um yeah. There we are. But that I think, but this is where we'll go. We'll start here next episode and uh, finish off. But I think on that note, I'm going to leave you. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit like. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. I'll check you later. Take care out there.